J-Lo is really Tammy. You know what yes, I mean? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> But she got but she got a good face on her now, you know what I'm saying? So I think that out of all the people that she <laughs> that she has been with Diddy was her, yeah. Her, you know, her. Diddy was her love. Yeah. But A Rod is a good consolation prize. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you can have so you can be a some someone's soulmate, soulmate and not be with and them. And not be with them. Yeah, so that is I believe that's mm -hmm. her soulmate. That's, that's what her I think. Because I think if J Lo was still in the picture, he wouldn't be with Cassie. I'm just saying, that's how I feel. That's what I think. No. I don't know. I mean, I mean he was in love with her. Y'all might get mad at me for saying it. No, he loved he her. Like, he literally loved her. I mean, he was, she was his, his soulmate. Like, okay. his, his yes, person. Okay. They said, what do y'all feel about OJ getting paroled? I think, go ahead. You want to take it? Because I know what I, how I feel. I'm glad he's paroled, but I think that he was stupid as shit. Excuse my language, guys. To be, I mean, you, you got off on murder. Come on. You got off that murder. That was alleged. You, he still got off if he did it or didn't I, I don't know who did it if he did it but I'm just saying you got off why would you go and, and go to jail for some memorabilia I mean the, they were waiting shit, for you they were waiting for him but they were waiting no he could have done it better than that he could have had some I don't, I'm just saying I think that he should have gotten parole he should have had it long he should have been the in there that long i stealing my french fries I don't give a fuck <laughs> like you got my shit I'm coming to get it but what, no, but Tammy, what, what if you fries? had no no but what if you got you got off on mur from murder like a, a murder charge Allegedly, I mean, not to say that he did it, but I'm saying he still got off. There's a lot of people that go to jail today that's innocent. He got off. Aren't but you, you, but you but see, what you're saying is, is contradictory because you're saying allegedly, but he got off, and it's people that's in well, jail. He was, that's okay, innocent, see, he was found not guilty. Like not no, no, no. I'm saying he was found not guilty to something when most black men, no matter if they did it or not, they were found guilty. He got, he got that, he got that. I'm not black. I'm OJ card. He got that already. He, but I, he's black now. He well, he's now. definitely black now because what they did was like, they were like, I'm just going to go ahead and put on all these years because we think you did it. Right. That's what, that's what, we that's think what happened you did with OJ. It. Yeah. In all honesty, that's what happened with him. When he went, when he stepped outside and forgot that he was black and went up in the memorabilia place and tried to take his shit back, they reminded him that he was black. Still uh -huh, nigga, as uh -huh. Jay-Z said. Exactly. And um, they, they made his time fit a crime that they felt he did prior exactly. to this particular right. That's crime. That's what I'm saying. Like, he, yeah. Listen, let me tell you something. You go and rob somebody, you ain't supposed to get no 30, 35 goddamn years for no yes, robbery. Yes, that's what, you know what I'm saying. saying. They tacked on and what they thought And other people got probation. Owed. You know, it's people like, uh, uh, what's his name that killed uh, Trayvon? He got off. You mm -hmm. know, ain't nobody, people's really committing crimes out here for real life crimes mm -hmm. and not getting any time. Right. So OJ was was be, uh, used in this particular, they made an example of him. Mm -hmm. They felt like he actually did the other crime. So they let this amount of time for the crime that they could actually pin to yes. him fit that. Yeah. So him getting parole, I feel like he should be on parole. And I tweeted about this. I feel like for the crime of robbery, mm -hmm. the man has been in there for not I think it's nine years yeah, now, right? Nine years time. for robbery that he was not armed. And he it didn't was have a stuff. weapon. And it was his shit. Yes. Okay, that the people had illegally. Right. Okay, so okay. he okay, so that they was they should have been locked up. Mm -hmm. But no, we locked up OJ. Right. Okay, so he did nine years and he was a model citizen. So you, you think may they not set him up? I think they may have set him up for that. I don't know if they set him up. They, they didn't set him up to kidnap him up. Not to kidnap, yeah, but I'm saying like him. they knew his, you know, sometimes you know when someone's like, it's his stuff, so he's entitled, he feels entitled. He feels entitled to have to his, get his, to get stuff, his back. stuff back. Yeah, whatever happened. We don't know then, what happened, but he made, know. he made an improper choice, mm -hmm. and so they were able to clank clank him, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, I think now, clank, he, clank <laughs> you know, clank clank <laughs> him, but I think he should be out. Right. I mean, like, you you, you can't get mad that at that at him getting out on parole. Mm -hmm. When you look at the crime and what they charged him with, he did his time. Mm -hmm. And he should actually be out on parole. If right. we just look specifically at the mm -hmm. crime, mm -hmm. the time, yeah. now is he should be out. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I think that if he was, most of the time when you steal something, it's like a couple, like six months to a year, right? They gave him nine, nine years. years. That was a setup, too, because they're like, we're going to get him on something. We're going we, 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 we we to get him on something. Up. I bet you he's sitting his ass down now. He sure hope he's gonna go right on back to Florida Let's and sit the fuck on down. He's gonna, he gonna, gonna retire like he's supposed to do. Let's hope. Amen. How are you, Shabbat? Shabbat? She quit? 
she quit loving hip hop? Yes, she should have. She, she, if she wanted to quit loving hip hop, she needed to go on and quit. Girl, can I please get your audacity? Because I, I, I've been trying to quit basketball wise for five, six years now. But I, that's the only job I got, bitch. I had to be real with myself and say, I, I need to pay my goddamn mortgage. But you quit and you stepped out there on faith. I, I love you for that. She now, listen, back. let me say this. She coming back. I think you need to come on back. She because coming the back. Show... <laughs> she coming back. She coming back. <laughs> Come on back. Come on back. Come on back, Jocelyn. You know what? I don't I love Mimi though. I love Mimi. Stevie J is like my brother. I've been knowing him for many, many years. Uh, you know, it's people that I like on the show, but I do feel that you add a certain element to the show that's just quite fucking funny to me. Mm -hmm. And you keep it real. And so I would like to see you still be on Love and Hip Hop ATL. You and Bonnie uh Bonnie Bella. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, uh, Stevie, stop free saying Bonnie free Bella. Bonnie Bella. Stop <laughs> saying free Bonnie Bella. Because you know you see Bonnie Bella. You know that woman don't keep Bonnie Bella from you. So we stop saying that. Should, should quit, Kirk. Oh shit, but she the quick Kirk. Go on, Shamika, answer that before I <laughs> Before I get myself in trouble. Go on, Shamika, what you think? I just say, you know what? If they happy, they happy. Because it ain't my business. I believe. Why are you looking like that? Let me say this. Let me say this. Let me say this. Well, my thing is, like, I don't I don't know them. I don't watch that show like that all the time. I haven't seen it recently. So I don't know what happened. So my thing is, is that if... If a nigga gonna cheat, he gonna cheat. Mm. And if he ain't gonna, if he gonna keep cheating, he gonna keep cheating. Mm. That's just plain simple. Huh? The cheating is over with. What? Baby is there a baby? Yeah. So it's his baby? Allegedly. Allegedly? Allegedly. Oh, I'm, I'm done. She needs to. She needs to move. She needs to move. Been together for 20 it doesn't years. matter. A baby. You, her, you. Her. Every single day, you're gonna see another uh, another woman's child. That's that you've had. He's had a baby with another woman. I can't, I couldn't do that. No. I mean, cheating is one thing, but another. I mean, to see a, a baby. It, okay, that's fine. But that's not me. I guess you know. Sometimes we we do forgive when people, men are men cheat. But to see a baby every day when you're with me, what you say? <laughs> Look at her face. I like me some Rashida. You know, Rashida boss chick. I just need her to live up to her tag boss chick. Um, here's the thing. <laughs> now, you. you may not. I love uh, we don't. We don't, even, we don't even have to do anything. You know what I'm saying? We don't have to do anything with this Kirk Rashida situation. Because I'm going to tell you how the, a woman's mind works. Uh, uh, most women. She gonna try to hang in there with Kirk, whether the baby is his or not. Mm -hmm. we, have, we, we don't know that for sure yet, so allegedly. Let's just say, hypothetically, the baby is his. She's gonna try to be the bigger person and hang in there with him because they've been together for 20-some-odd years. Uh, you know, and he, he was her first love, only love. You know what I'm saying? However, the way most women work every time she look at him, or he come to touch her, it's going to make her skin crawl. Because yep. in the back of her mind, she's going to remember, you done stuck that dick somewhere yes. else. Raw, nigga, at that. Mm -hmm. And done created another life that we got to feed until mm -hmm. they're 18. That's right. my money, too. You know, because we was a couple. Exactly. So she eventually, at some point, she's going to say, I can't do it. Mm -hmm. And she going to walk away. Right. Now, it may not be today like we all think she should do. But I'm telling you, it's, it's inevitable. It's right. going to happen. If that baby turn out to be his, it's inevitable. Yeah. I'm just saying. Yeah. I, I want them to work it out because I really like Rashida. Uh, and so I, I want her to find have happiness and everything that they have built together. I would love for that to be able to stay intact. Mm -hmm. uh, but I don't think she was the person that messed that up. I don't baby, think she was I the person that jeopardized that. I believe a baby's a, a, baby's a, a baby's deal breaker. It's a deal breaker. It's a deal breaker. A a I mean, for me. One. Everybody is not Viola from Fences. You know right. what I'm saying? We all not going to take the baby in and raise it. I agree. I don't know. Somebody's saying something I can't see. Ask yeah, Shamika a question. <laughs> <laughs> they like your answers better than mine. They talk about Usher, but I think they missed it when y'all. Yeah. We already talked about Usher. I'm sorry y'all missed that. Mm -hmm. Y'all missed so, that. Yeah, I'm like, what? What else? What, what, what question? They said Keisha Cole coming on Love and Hip Hop. Keisha Cole coming on Live, Love and Hip Hop. Y'all know Keisha Cole like my niece, right? So I got, I'ma keep it cute, oh, but, but I'm, like I'm, I'ma keep it, I'ma keep it cute, but I'ma keep it real. I don't know why she did that. Uh, I feel like Keisha has so many opportunities to be on other shows, but now that she own Love and Hip Hop, y'all get ready because she got an amazing storyline. Like there's so much to Keisha that y'all don't know that I think she's going to open up and expose to you guys um, and let you into her life. 
and uh, you know her family and things of that nature and that's special mm -hmm. that is very special I do still feel that she could have gone on and got her own situation but she chose to bring it to the platform of love and hip hop and so uh, hopefully you guys will welcome her and you know support her and be on her side through through all of this you know what I'm saying because it's, it's going to be some shit exposed with Keisha this season on love and hip hop I'm just trying to tell you because I know the, I know the inside tea <laughs> go ahead on that's the inside tea uh, it's some it's some things gonna come out, you know, that y'all know that y'all don't really know about Kiki, and um, it, you know, so just get ready for that. Mm -hmm. That airs tonight. I think it's on right now. I don't know. Is it on it's on the East yet. Coast? Where's Where's it on? Not yet. Not yet. Somebody said, Reggie, do he work? Yes, Reggie works, my love. Do you think, okay, see, some of y'all, I feel like y'all follow me, y'all watch me on the show, but y'all don't really know me. Mm -hmm. You really don't know me. Because if you think I'm going to be with a motherfucker that do not have a job, that cannot contribute to the household, and cannot contribute to what I'm trying to build outside of TV, then y'all don't know me. I ain't going to be no broke-ass nigga. Uh, 17 years younger and broke. <laughs> she ain't that much dick in the world. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> you better get that team. Trust me, yes, he works, baby boo. <laughs> what, what else they want to know? They want to know where you got your hat from. This hat is booked, bitch, because that's what I always am. I keep the job. Uh, the, pe the people. I can only, I, I can only be tipsy. I'm going to write it in these comments. Okay. Shamika, write it got, where I got What's the hat from. What's it called? For the book people. And I can only be Tiffany? Yeah. Okay. 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 I like this little hat, though. No, seriously. I like it. But the bitch needs to have paid me some money. If people was going to be asking where the hell I got my hat from. No, that's cute. No, it's cute. I like the hat. It's, it's, uh, it's good. Uh, it's a you your own talk show. I, I agree with you. Mm -hmm. The person that said I need my own talk show, I definitely agree with you. I've always wanted to have my own talk show. You should. In the name of Jesus. But, uh, you know, people don't always see uh, what you see. You know what I'm saying? And so the entertainment industry is fickle. Mm -hmm. And it's like, who's hot? You know, right. the, I always say the entertainment industry works in three phases. Mm -hmm. Who's, I'm going to use my name, who's Tammy? Nobody knows you. Then it's like, oh my God, get me Tammy. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And then the final phase is, whatever happened to Tammy? I, I ain't at that motherfucker yet. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm still holding on. Thank you, Jesus. Um, Hallelujah. Shabbat. Uh, but I, I would like to have my own talk show. Mm -hmm. Who knows? Mm -hmm. Maybe, you know, maybe one of these days before this I'm dead. Is, you will. Are you watching mm -hmm. Growing Up Hip Hop Atlanta? I do watch Growing Up Hip Hop Atlanta. Oh, now, what you want to ask me about that? Oh, who? Brandon Barnes. You know, he can, uh, he can, uh, Brandon, they asked me what I thought about Brandon on growing up hip-hop Atlanta. He getting a, a rough time because it's hard to be Deb Antony's son. You know what I'm saying? Deb, Deb Antony is, is a staple, is, 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 is a legend, it re really, in terms of management in the game. And so he's trying to, you know, carve out a little niche for himself. And uh, it's, it's difficult because I think he's been around uh, the music business a long time. And I think he does have a sense of what is needed to, to break in in terms of development and things of that nature. And he, he just wants to have something for himself. Now, however, I do feel he's a very outspoken individual. He's just going to say whatever comes to his mind. Now, when you're on a show with Regine and Toya... You got to you got to watch that sometime, you know, because they, they I, I, I don't necessarily I know Toya. Toya may not play fair with your ass. You know what I'm saying? You might be walking down the street one day and just get that ass beat. And don't even know why. You know what I'm saying? That's the that's the that's the true tea. OK, so, you know, he just got to, you know, he just got to check it. You know what I'm saying? But I understand his his, his drive and his tenacity and his will to want something for himself. Cause my daughters deal with that, too. You know, when your your parent is, is, is recognized and well known and you trying to be in an industry you want to have a lane to yourself mm -hmm. you know and so he's just fighting for that but he seems cool Shamika why you got the dang time for me what you, the hell you gonna answer cause I, I didn't I didn't see him in hip hop I mean up hip hop people always ask me have I talked to anybody from the real world I'm in the fucking real world <laughs> <laughs> I am living 
and trying to pay bills and keep my fucking house and my cars paid and okay and, and, and I cannot I cannot Jocelyn voice okay no I haven't talked to them people that was 20 some odd years ago so I don't talk I, I, I did see David uh, we did clear all of that up we're not enemies like y'all think uh, we good you know but everybody's living life everybody's going no I have I haven't talked to Duffy. I saw that when I got the glasses on. I was at that What are your thoughts on it? Oh, that's I love me some me power. Me too. Child. I love power. Go, so you can talk okay. to her. You love well, power. No, we gonna do it together. Cause they, this your thing. And I'm like, they, I'm boring. Shamika, you can talk about power. Okay. I love power. I love power. I'm pretty. I'm pretty much mad at Angela this whole season. Mm. She is a mess. Come on, you ready? Is she too? a mess? I'm She's right a here. mess. So I, I, I can't wait for, um, for Ghost to be out. I, I haven't seen this last episode. Clearly. Clearly. Is he out? <laughs> oh, okay. He's come out. Right on. She, she gonna watch it tonight. She don't got the stars app. I so y'all can hit me with a little check for night. telling people that you got an app where they can watch it ahead of yes, time. No, you I have stars, but I hadn't seen it. I haven't seen it because I, okay. you know, was busy cooking. I don't want to spoil it for you or anybody well, else. Well, I guess he's out. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Here's the thing. Ghost and Angela's going to be fucking again. They are. Get into I that. I believe that because the way they looked at each that. other and they, you know, she was upset that she well, put him in this position. Them on holding them down. Yeah. It, that's yeah. how it always is. It is. Okay? That's yeah. how it always is. A bitch can hold you down and the minute you get something going, you get that. Is that what Kevin Hart did? I don't know. Did I just say that? I don't know. I was just saying. I felt like I, I felt like You're I saw honest, some similarities. Say it. Say it how you feel. Say it. Say say you I don't feel. know. I love you, me some Kevin Hart. You never fail to say what you feel. You, I, I love that. I love you. You are just honest. And Tori. Yeah. And Aniko's cute too. I like her too. I've never met her. I like Tori. I met her twice. She's nice. She's yeah, I like Tori. She's Tori's a girl. She's tall. tall. Mm -hmm, she's tall. But Kevin's short though. Yeah, you know how it is. <laughs> What did you feel about Martin getting engaged? I'm very happy for him. I'm very, very happy for him. I mean, I want him to be happy. I want him to enjoy his life. And as long as... No, I'm just kidding. I'm serious. <laughs> no, I just had to prove No, people don't realize people don't I know, left. Everyone thinks he left. I left. So I'm in a good space. I want him to be in a good space in his life. And that's just the reality. We were together for 16 years. We're friends. Six, I'm very happy. 16, 16 years. 16 years. People okay, don't know this that. Ain't no, this that wasn't no fake shit. Right. Okay. So, yeah, so I'm happy for him if he's happy. If she's good to him and good to my kids, that's all I that matters. I was matter. Martin's neighbor when he was with Pat. <laughs> oh, you were! I was. You were! Martin Lawrence. You were! Okay, I used to be his neighbor when he was with Pat. Shamika wasn't around there yet. Huh? And no, then Pat went off and that. got with Emma Smith. Now she Pat Smith. Yeah. And then we all moved out of the name. Me, Shaq, Martin, mm -hmm. the uh, Van Hollen uh, Estates, right? The Mulholland Estate with Vanna White. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, we oh, was all, we was all up in there. We was all up in there. It was in my community. We was all mm -hmm. John Sally. Mm -hmm. We was all neighbors. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then Shamika came and swooped him off his feet. And he moved out the neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? I, but I met him when he was still in the neighborhood. They were going, they were they were weren't together anymore. And then you moved out the neighborhood, right, Shamika? Yeah, we moved okay, out the neighborhood. Okay, that's what I that's what but the we fuck went to I the other neighborhood. Said. She swooped him off his feet and moved out the neighborhood where we was at. <laughs> that's what that's what the fuck I was saying. But we you know, down and Shawnee did the same thing with Shaq. Shawnee yeah. did the same yeah. thing with Shaq. Then it was just me and Kenny in the neighborhood. Yeah. Me and Kenny. Me and Kenny. I'm you got all the neighborhood tea. I got all the neighborhood tea, okay? Then. No, John, Sally, and Natasha was up there. You know, then we that's all just moved so and parted funny. ways. You know, we're supposed to be with happy community. That's so funny. <laughs> do a couple more. So what do you think on Black China? <laughs> Black China. Somebody said what we think about Black China. You want to take it? Black China? Mm-hmm. Uh, no, I know who it is. I know who it is. I, I just, you know, the funny thing about it is that all these, all these reality, uh, is she, was she, no, let me say, that that's she, Rob Kardashian. No, no, I know, mm -hmm. but this, they all started reality television. It's, I don't understand why everybody. Black so China started on reality television. No, no, I'm talking about the Kardashian. on the pole. No, oh, oh, wait, okay. no, she started on pole, but she oh, came okay. up on somebody's reality. She, she you know, tell She came up on Tiger. She came up on that baby, the Kardashian baby. Yeah, she. Oh, did. you mean she came up on the Kardashian well, the baby? Kardashian, that I mean, was after the Tiger but baby. But I'm saying Tiger, yeah. Tiger ain't as big as Rob. She came no, up Tiger even took more out on King Rob. Of Rob. Huh? Just, Tiger took out King of Diamonds. Well, she he took her out, but she, you know, she became brand new. And when he, when he, she figured, you know, Rob was available. That was an opportunity, even a bigger opportunity. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, I believe that. I just, I, I, I believe that this whole situation is just a mess. It's a circus. It's a circus. It's just a three-ring circus. I mean, actually, yeah. Because think about 
how she, I mean, she's sitting there flossing. She's having dudes. That's not cool. Having dudes in her bed, all that stuff. That's not cute. For one, you have kids. I believe that when you got kids, like, I mean, so, your parents, you going to, so what? How even they have the kids? It don't kids. matter, but that's just ratchet. That's you just, grown, that's I just. have a nigga in the bed. It doesn't matter. It's, yeah. no. Look what? If you grown, you can have a nigga in your bed. When you if got you kids? Grown, yeah. I think you can, unless, but you but got, you you got a man. On, you had a man, yeah, yeah. though. She's single now. She did not. She was with, that was when she was with uh, uh, I don't know. At the end of the day, I just believe that sometimes your business needs to say your business privately and not publicly. And when you do, when you're doing too much, you're making this thing. You're, you you want that, that, um, that um, attention. Mm -hmm. She's always been an attention seeker. But at the end of the day, you, you have to be able to know that what it's going to come with good and bad. You know, all mm -hmm. that stuff, is the, all the stuff, you know, you, she's, a, you know, she's excited about what she has and all these people. But when you're talking, people are talking about you, you got to take the good with the bad. You do have to take the good with the bad. The bad with, uh huh? So this is the last one we're going to take. What do you think about Phaedra getting fired? What do I think about Phaedra getting fired? What? Phaedra got fired? Y'all got to get me some tea. You didn't know Phaedra that? Phaedra ain't on the show no more. I didn't know Phaedra got fired. Yeah, she got fired. That whole situation that, that happened at the end, that, that, that sealed her face. Her lying like that. That is a mess okay but let me just tell you this you cannot go around saying things that really are you know would jeopardize a person's brand and their character and what they've established and you know i i know candy i know her team and they take they take that very seriously mm -hmm. so um you know when that when that live left what what I felt what I felt she when 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 uh, Portia called her and said girl they done said hit me with a cease and desist mm -hmm. and I'm trying to figure out when you say cool. I was like girl was no let me tell you something that I don't know if that's true I, I know we went all season but I I just gotta keep it real with you right now I don't know if that's true and I had to back back the fuck up mm -hmm. out of that right you right. know what I'm saying so that she could have kept her job but you know Phaedra's an attorney. Mm -hmm. So she should have known better. She should have known better. She should have known better, but she gonna be all right. She still got cases. She got people coming to her. Uh, uh, who needs somebody right? Now? Usher. Shit, he right there in ATL. No, but think about it. People now are gonna say that she she's not giving them facts. She's mm. that, that contain her. That contain her whole career. Mm. They're not. They're gonna be. You know, that some? being a lawyer. I mean, most lawyers are crooks anyway. But at the end of the day, she's not. People aren't gonna trust her with their their business, with their stuff, with their personal information. Ain't that some pofe fe? Pofe fe. Apollo gonna be good now. The men they gonna have a reality show. They gonna be fine. They gonna get back together. It's gonna mm -hmm. be all good. Um, I don't think so. You don't think so? No, I don't think so. We no, have they, to, we, we have he, to you didn't see his I, new. You didn't see his new new book. I saw the new book. I saw the yeah. Let's uh, don't they do that down there in ATL? From what somebody has said, That's I don't true. really know. That's but true. uh they might get uh, figure out how to get that going. Look, yeah, action like that. But I want to say this to th uh, th about the Black China real quick. I saw today that Black China bought a Ferrari. This is what I want to say. I need for Black people, all Black people, not specifically Black China, but I'm just saying this made me think of it. Y'all got to stop being coons. Uh, when you get some money, when you get real money i think that you have to in you know let's 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 try to invest the ferrari is going to depreciate the minute you drive it off of the lot okay maybe not much because it is a, a premier luxury brand vehicle so you probably feel like bitch shut the fuck up it's still gonna hold value but what i'm saying is nothing's gonna hold value like some motherfucking real estate mm -hmm. okay yeah. and i would i really need for y'all start saving your money you get ten thousand twenty thousand use it as a down payment get your little studio condos mm -hmm. one bedroom condos and start yeah. using them investment as an income property, property. Yeah. investment property income property it, it's, it's the only way to really mm -hmm. have something in yeah. life today yeah. and you know business everybody wants to start an online business everybody want to do all of this shit let me tell you something the same twenty thousand that you take to start an online business that you're gonna get tired of the minute some shit ain't selling and then you're gonna get frustrated Oh, my 20000 that fucking property that you done bought is always going to always. appreciate. Yep. Always. always. No matter okay? what. Yep. And then if it don't, bitch, you can sell it and you still got some money. Exactly. So uh, start being smart about what you got to do and get you some life insurance, please, for the name of Jesus. Please. Having, I just want to talk to y'all some real shit for a minute. Stop having expensive cars in, in, in a, 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 at an, an apartment. Boom. And that's one thing I can't stand. These Boom. dudes come in with these fly cars Boom. and you got an apartment. And you, or you, you got a hundred and fifty thousand dollar car, hundred thousand dollar car, and you in an apartment. 
Let's 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 level up. Let's level up. And by level up the glow like the glow up, the glow up, glow up for real. Like don't put everything out on social media in, in terms of your shit because you you'll post some shoes and a handbag, motherfucking quick bitch. Like can't nobody else get that shit. If a person save up real good, they had that shit too. What I'm trying to tell you now is glow up for real on exactly. these motherfuckers yeah. and start investing, get you some life insurance, get you some it definitely get you some health insurance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, what else they need, Shamika? They need health insurance, life insurance. Um, they need a <laughs> they need a car that they can say that's yeah. theirs <laughs> and start renting them we, um, rims. You don't got you don't got you don't got to put rims on. Please don't put rims on the Bentley. I mean, right. keep it how it is because it's aftermarket.